Girl, we've got work to do. Hello, friends. How are we? Oh, look, my boob was poking out then. It wasn't. Oh, I'm vlogging today. Why is my voice so high pitched? I thought I'd do a daily vlog to ease me back into vlogging after the craziness of Panto. Just trying to get into my serum. I mean, I am so excited to be vlogging again. I feel like I haven't vlogged for so long, even though I vlogged a heck of a lot in December. I did Vlogmas, for any of you that don't know what Vlogmas is, it's basically when you do like a vlog a day leading up to Christmas, kind of like an online advent calendar. So I did a vlog every single day of Panto um, leading up to Christmas and then I did a couple after Christmas as well. Um, there's a playlist for all of them if you want to check them out. But yeah, it was super fun, like it was so much fun. I had the absolute best time doing Panto, I would highly recommend um, doing a panto if you are a performer and you've never done one or you just kind of want to know what it's like. It is so fun. But I'm back in London now. I've been back for nearly two weeks, a week and a half. Um, I went home for a little bit as well, which was really, really nice. But I have just been like a zombie. I got back from panto and I was just exhausted, but I haven't really, typical me, haven't really given myself time to <laughs> chill out i've been running all over the place teaching auditioning and working and just keeping myself busy my house is in utter disarray like it's kind of got the bedroom back where i kind of want it ish um but everything else is just a hot mess so that needs to be addressed apologies for being in my robe i just thought i've just had a shower and i don't want to get dressed quite yet in case i'm a bit of a spiller so I normally spill some part of my makeup on what I'm wearing. So I thought I'd just keep my dressing gown on for now. But yeah, we are in mid-January now. Can you believe it? Oh, just as a side note, I bought a new sheer glow um, yesterday from NARS. Um, and I've got a new shade, which I thought was very exciting. I'm going to come out with some new shades. Look at all these brushes. <laughs> I can't get to them. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm normally the shade Mont Blanc for anyone that's interested. But I've got... What is it? shake well i did not shake i've got the shade now salzburg so there you go oh that's lovely that i love this foundation this is the best foundation i've ever tried panto is really really fun i'm back in london now it's really nice to be back i've just been kind of getting used to being back um i've been i went to a ballet class yesterday which was really really good um, very hard though because I haven't done ballet in so long um, but yes now I am back to vlogging I thought I'd ease myself in with a little daily vlog today got a nice kind of chill day I'm actually today filming my best of 2018 video it's a little bit late but I needed a break after vlogmas like I think that's something if I do it again this year I definitely will I'll probably go on holiday to be honest afterwards um, but it was such a lot of fun but it really took it out of me doing that plus panto was just exhausting um so i definitely needed a bit of like a digital detox after um i'd finished um which was really really good and really i feel now like refreshed and ready to start the year full of videos got loads of ideas and also there are loads more of you now so welcome to anyone that is new hi really nice to have you with us that was a really weird wave yeah and just welcome and i need to kind of find my feet again because I felt like I was just doing these videos mainly for like myself and a few people that cared but now there's quite a lot of you I really want to know what you guys want to see and what kind of videos interest you and like just so I'm not boring you basically I've been rubbish recently and um, for that I apologize at reading my comment not reading my comments at replying to my comments I always read my comments um ooh there's a hair on this uh which is something that I've always like kind of not prided myself on because it's a bit dramatic but I've always been really good at um so yes anytime you have a question or like a video request please just write in the comments and I will definitely definitely read it and get back to you as soon as possible I'm feeling refreshed I've got a really lovely day today so I'm going to be filming a video um sorting some bits and bobs out and then I'm going to go and meet Jordan and we're going to go for a wagamama because I have not had a wagamama um since I left London last which was in November actually even probably before November because I left like right at the beginning of November and I blimmin love Wagamama I haven't had one the whole time and um we are meeting in Victoria and I was like oh well, where do you want to go to eat and Jordan was like oh I'm not sure what's around there and I was like um well I know there's a Wagamama like hint hint he was like perfect let's go there and I was like yes win so we're gonna go to Wagamama before um 
before because we're going to see Wicked tonight, which I'm really excited about. I haven't seen Wicked in years. I don't think I've seen it for like 10 years at least. A really long time. So I am so excited because it is one of my absolute favourite, favourite shows. Um, so I'm kind of doing my makeup for that as well as for the video. So this needs to be long lasting, hence why I'm putting so much on. Bit of Laura Mercier. Um, but yeah, so how are you guys? How was your Christmas? Uh, how was your New Year? What did you get up to? What are your hopes for 2019? I am just really excited for 2019. 2018 was so weird. <laughs> it was good, but weird. And 2019, 2018 was a year I definitely learned a lot, a lot, a lot from. Um, and I'm just really excited for this year because I feel like ready for it, you know? I'm really excited. I'm really excited to keep making videos for you guys. I'm just excited. Word of the day excited what do we do after powder i'm trying to think what else i need to update you on really it's just been a bit of a whirlwind i'm so like grateful to everyone that watched my vlogorella that was my name for it vlogorella and the response to it was just like unreal so thank you so much i can't believe i actually accomplished a video every day i really did not think that i was going to be able to do it but i did it and i also never thought i'd be able to do three shows in one day that is definitely something that I'm quite proud of from um, doing this panto. Like, I was always like, no, I do not have the stamina for that. But it turns out, I do. I'm not saying it wasn't hard, because it wasn't really hard, but it was so much fun. I'm really excited to see Jordan today. It'd be really nice. It's weird, like, you go from seeing these people every single day, like the people I did panto with were so lovely and we had so much fun and we spent all our time together. And now we've all come back to London. Well, not all of us, but most of us have come back to London. And we've all just kind of gone, Shoo! like everyone lives in different parts of London. London's a big place. And we've kept in touch, but we haven't seen each other. And it's weird. It's so weird. Also, on another note, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair dark again. I don't know what to do about my hair. I don't know if it looks better blonde. I don't know if it looks better dark. I just don't know. So if anyone cares to help... <laughs> Um, feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you prefer. Right, I'm going to put some eyeshadow on because it's a special occasion. I'm going to watch Wicked. I'm so excited. I haven't seen it for so long. And it, honestly, it's one of my absolute favourite shows. I remember when I was away at school when I was younger. That was when Wicked kind of came out. I listened to it every day. <laughs> Literally every day. And I used to try and sing along to it. Um, to varying degrees of success but I just love it I just think it is if you are someone that loves musicals and you want to maybe take someone to see a musical for the first time or you're kind of taking a family trip to London and you want a really good show to see and you, something that everyone will like I think Wicked is like a brilliant place to start there's obviously so much else out there but Wicked is just, it's genius. And it is just a beautiful story, beautiful set costumes, like just a spectacle. Like there's great special effects and like all that good stuff. But it's just got everything a good musical should have, I, I think. And I just, I mean, I haven't seen it for years, but I just know it's going to be amazing. And I'm so excited. I've just realized how dark it is in here. And I'm really hoping that my makeup it's okay. I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on now. I'm gonna use this, which Courtney got me for Christmas. I've wanted this for so long and it is the best thing I've ever seen. Look how pretty it is. This is the um, Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I thought it was limited edition, but it's not. I mean, look at that giant mirror. I don't want to burn your eyes, but <laughs> you can fold it over and it's got all of these different shades. I mean, how beautiful is that? If you're someone that cares about eyeshadow, like I am, I love eyeshadow. Um, so maybe I'll do like a, maybe I'll do like a greeny eye. Seeing as we're going to Wicked. Oh my god, it's so dark in here. I'm going to put that on. That's better. In England at the moment, we have like three hours of sunlight. Oh yeah, me and Courtney are planning a trip. We are planning on going to Disneyland Paris for a few days uh, in either January or February. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. Uh, just kind of trying to currently look into the best way to go. So if anyone has any tips, I don't go on holiday much. <laughs> so if anyone has any tips on booking it, that would be great because we're not so hot at the uh, holidaying. Do you guys want to see like a get to know me kind of thing i did one like years ago and really need to delete a lot of my old videos because they're really embarrassing i feel like because there's a lot more of you now i feel like i want to reintroduce myself i don't know 
would that be something you'd be interested in or if there's any questions like burning kind of personal questions that you want to ask me i'm pretty much an open book so i will i don't I'd like that's the thing is i don't kind of I don't share loads without being asked, just because I think like, well, if people haven't asked, they probably don't really care. But if there's things you actually really want to know about me, <laughs> just ask and I'll, I'll tell you. Let's put a bit of highlighter on. I've got the Fort de France highlighter. I've got a little new highlighter brush from Sigma, because apparently these are really good. I can never see highlighter when I put it on. And I think, oh, have I not put enough on? And then I pile loads more on and it's too much. That'll do donkey. That'll do. Right, let's find a good lipstick to wear before we shed. I know, I think I'll probably wear like a nude just because I've got quite a dramatic eye. I really want to wear Honey Love. I don't know where it is. I found it. Oh, I need to do my hair as well. Oh gosh. I'm going to curl my hair, but I won't bore you with that because that just will take ages. Right, I'm going to just put my lashes on, curl my hair, put my lipstick on, and then I'll be right back. Right, I am now ready to film. I've curled my hair, just letting it drop a little bit got a little shirt on i'm gonna make a cup of tea before i start i think i'm doing a really good video today that i'm really excited about i've wanted to make this for so long i'm doing like a 2018 roundup so best shows i saw best makeup i used best soundtracks i listened to like all that good stuff so yeah that video will be up maybe before this one so if um it has gone up. I will leave a link to it up in the corner for you as well as in the description box so you can go and check it out. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna start filming now because I'm severely running out of time. Oh my gosh, I'm done. I've just been talking for like an hour and you know when you get like sick of the <laughs> sound of your own voice. I also made a tea. Oh, that's bright. That's, sorry, that's because my light's on. Um, I also made a tea and did not drink it and it's cold, but it's okay. Right, now I'm gonna tidy up the mess that is my flat. Um, and I'm going to sort my life out a little bit because I'm going to meet Jordan soon. I'm very, very excited to go and watch Wicked. Eee! So I'm going to sort myself out. I'll probably have to put my camera on charge because I've been talking so much. And I'll catch up with you again in a little bit. Bye. Right, I've eaten a little summit summit because I could not wait until work a mama. Um, even though that was my plan. I just got really peckish. Um, so I've had a little bite to eat. I've been sorting out boring tax things, um, getting my video ready to put up tonight and putting up my very final panto vlog tonight. Oh, I'm gonna sit down, which is really sad. It's like the end of an era. Um, I've put up probably about 30 panto vlogs. Oh my gosh, people must be sick of me. But the very last one is going up tonight which is sad, but I've had an amazing time and you know, it's on to new things, new different things now, um, which is exciting. So I need to get ready and pick what I'm gonna wear tonight. Well, I've kind of picked, I just need to like double check that I've chosen the right thing. Um, so yeah, I'm heading out soon to meet Jordan. I need to put my video up before I leave. Yeah, so I am off to see Wicked tonight, which I'm really excited about. I was really kindly invited um, along by official London theater to watch Wicked tonight. Um, so me and Jordan are going courtesy of them which is so lovely of them so thank you so so much uh, to Sam at OLT but basically if you don't know what official London theatre is so it's basically a branch of the Society of London Theatre and their kind of aim is to encourage more people um, into the West End into theatres into shows and things like that which I think is absolutely amazing we should be like spreading the message and if I can in any way help with that that is like what I want more than anything because I love theatre and I want everyone to have the opportunity to see shows and be able to watch amazing performances and plays and musicals and I definitely want to get that message out there like there's so much amazing stuff going on not just in London outside of London everywhere different countries up and down this country just like touring companies just there's so much amazing theatre and I feel like theatre is so important and so yeah I think what they're doing is really really amazing but we are off to see Wicked tonight and I am so excited Wicked is one of those shows it has got such a special place in my heart it's like I always think I talk about new shows and discover new shows and I'm like oh this amazing show blah 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 but Wicked is like the constant and I feel like sometimes I forget to mention it because it is just ing it's like that it's like an old friend I don't know that sounds really weird but it's like the one that's always there I have loved Wicked from a very young age um I went to see it in its first year at the Apollo, actually, I believe. And we went on, I think, Boxing Day. And it was one of Adina Menzel's final performances. I might be getting this wrong, but Adina Menzel was coming to the end of her first year in it. 
I don't know if I'm making this up, but Adina Menzel was in it basically. And I, that, I think that performance of that show was what I was like, because I'd wanted to do musicals for a really long time. Um, and I went away to dance school and stuff. And I think seeing that musical really ingrained in me, like, wow, I want to do that, like that exact, what she is doing, I want to do that. And it was such, I just, I think I cried like three times during it. And at one point I was convinced she looked at me and everyone in my family was like, okay. And I, we were on like the fourth row and I was convinced that she looked at me, which I mean, I'm pretty 95% sure she didn't. And I used to play the soundtrack all the time. I used to try and sing the songs all the time. It is just, it's always been such a special part of theatre for me, Wicked. And I just think it's incredible. I love it. I'd watch it like every day if I could. And I'm going with Jordan. Jordan loves Wicked too. So I think we're gonna have a really nice time. And I'm gonna take you along with me um, to the theatre. And I'll probably get totes and mosh about it, but hey. Yeah, so I'm gonna go and pick what to wear now. I think I've narrowed it down to one thing. So I'm thinking I'm going to wear this lovely number, which is like a midi skirt from Topshop. It's like in like a kind of snake print. I really, really like it, and I'm yet to wear it. And then I was maybe just gonna wear it with this little fluffy white jumper. So yes, I'm gonna get dressed now, sort myself out, put my video up, and I will check in with you soon. I am ready, and in typical me fashion, I'm late. <laughs> I've had all day, I don't know what I've been doing. Excuse the mess that is my house. I just thought, that's my light there, apologies. Just thought I'd quickly show you my outfit. So I've got this really cozy, like, um, cropped cream jumper on from Topshop. Then I've got this skirt, which is um, from Topshop as well, and it's like a tie waist, oh, coming undone, um, snake print long skirt which is really floaty and nice i'm wearing all top shop i've just realized the this necklace is also from top shop it's kind of like a misoma a misoma sorry a misoma ripoff because i really want a misoma necklace but they're expensive so this is the top shop version tights black tights top shop oh my gosh why isn't this working top shop boots <laughs> um and then i've just got some little earrings i think these are from top shop too held my hair just kind of left it from earlier um, and now I'm gonna go because otherwise I'm gonna be late for Jordan. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get the tube and head to Victoria. This is Victoria. This station is free. Customers traveling with... And there is Hamilton, which is another show that I am desperate to see. Oh dear. <laughs> What's going on there, I wonder? And there's the theatre. Woo! I'm so excited. Look who I found. It's me. Hi. It's and me. Listen, look at the listen to this voice. <laughs> Don't you sound sexy? <laughs> sounds sexy? It's a sexy phlegm. <laughs> um, we have just been for a lovely old Wagamama's and a catch up. Oh, it, was, the dream. it was so good. Like, I haven't had a Wagamama's in like months since um, we've been in Wakefield. <laughs> And it was just delightful. I nearly fell down the stairs then. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so accident prone. I also walked into a glass door earlier. Fun God. fact. Um, so yeah, Jordan's lost his voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> After this God. is like the remnants of Panto. Yeah, this is it. This is <laughs> right it. My body was like, hey, look, you can relax now. Get ill now. now. <laughs> to be fair, I kind of did the same. So we are going to see Wicked. Jordan's my date. Um, we're going to go and collect our tickets. And see the theatre. Maybe get some sweets. Catch up with you in a bit. Ooh, it's a bit chilly, isn't it? A bit chilly. <laughs> oh, we're in a we're in a we're in a group. <laughs> Follow that rock back. Do you know when you're <laughs> I don't think you should go in <laughs> Here he is, Jordan Harrington, waiting to cross the road in style. Oh yeah. Can we actually go? Is there a green man anywhere? Jordan, no! I don't trust it. Oh I was right. I was right. We're trying to cross the road currently and, and failing. Like <sighs> okay, we need to find a crossing. Quite, this no, is no, not no, safe. Georgie, Georgie. trying to kill me. No! And then she dies. <laughs> and they never got to see <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> right, we're going in now. We're gonna go and get our tickets. Defying gravity since 2006. Ooh, I didn't realise. Nadelle Nazim. Nad Adele Dazim was here in 2006 because I saw her. Wow. It's so pretty. Gosh, it's busy. I mean, I'm loving the green. 
So we're in the queue. We're not sure what for, but we're in a queue. I just saw before I met you. It's really cute. That, um, a family like tanning the kids that they're coming to watch with kids. Tanning. Telling. Oh, okay. Right. Tanning the kids. Just tanning. Getting ready. No, Green, telling them. Greening them up. <laughs> Telling them that they were coming to watch Wicked, and the little girl cried, and it was oh, so cute. Cool. And they were like screaming in the street, and I really wanted to join in. And I was like that creepy person standing, smiling at them, like. And he looked over at me, and I was like, "Carry on, right? We're moving up. We're moving up." Oh yeah, snackaroonies. Oh my god, merch. I, I'm a sucker for merch. I'd get it all if I could. This is. Very exciting. I want a t-shirt. By the end of today, we're going to be walking out. I'll have all the merch. <laughs> I love Wicked. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That is, I mean, that is a pretty good view, I'd say. I just think this theatre is, like, the wow. set design and stuff from the kids here, isn't it? It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. We're in our seats now. There he is. Got your sweets. Got my sweets. Coffee, come here. Coffee, come here. I've got chocolate buttons. You know, it's a really good seat. Now we're gonna defy gravity. Who do you think you are? Do you think you're ever? No, not as in who do you think you are, but as in who do you think you're Do you think you're ever? Oh, 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 my god, I don't know. What do you think? I can't like to say that. I, yeah. like I was gonna I was gonna say, oh I'm Alpha, you're Glenda, but no, I think it's the other way around. Well, it's my turn to shine. It is, get out there. <laughs> Would you grab would that you, what room? What would you want? What would you want to do? Originally, I always wanted to do Elsa, but now I'm like Linda. That's what I want to do. She's like, she's definitely like the famous. Yeah, famous. yeah. I think Linda now. Oh, I don't know. I'm like, you fuck it. Gosh, you've got great selection. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> it's about to start. We're very excited. I see you get the camera. <laughs> oh dear. As you can tell, I'm not at Wicked anymore. I am currently, currently, I'm home now. I just got in, um, me and Jordan were just kind of chatting during the interval and then um, we just left and Jordan had to get off because he um, had to go and get his car. So I just jumped on the tube and I am now home. I just had the best night. I love Wicked so much. I can't even describe my love for it. We were really lucky. Oh, what are you focusing on over there, love? That was really bizarre. My camera started focusing on the wall. Anyway, we were really, really lucky because there were actually some understudies on, um, which I always think is really nice to see. I really love seeing understudies in roles and how they make them their own and things like that and they were absolutely brilliant i just love wicked so much the choreography is amazing and the show itself i was thinking it when i was watching it is so timeless and i feel like so appropriate for now and like i feel like a lot of shows not a lot of shows but you know some shows don't age well some shows really just are of a particular time but i feel like wicked really it's, it's really it's quite it's quite a few years old now. I know it started here in 2006, um, but it's, obviously it was on Broadway and in America before that. Um, so it's been around for a while, but it honestly feels like it was written like yesterday. It just, I feel like the story is so now and just so brilliant and it can really, people can really relate to it. And that's what I just love about it. And I love that it's so like empowering for women and so, kind of female driven which I just think is amazing. I just love the story, I love like the kind of message of it, the female friendship vibe of it, I just think it's so girl power and so but also just so there's a beautiful love story and there's just so such cool like acro and dancing and the singing is just unbelievable honestly oh my god it's just 
unreal the things these people are singing it's just amazing honestly i would highly recommend going to see wicked it is so good such a great night out the theater's gorgeous it's so easy to get to as well from victoria station you literally walk out of the station and it's opposite you it's so good um there's loads of good places to eat around near the theater as well if you are fan if you're kind of making like a little you know evening out of it or like going up for like a matinee or something or on the weekend there's loads of great places to eat around there really easy to get to from victoria station so yeah if you are thinking of going it's really like handy kind of location wise and things like that um but yeah if you are looking into going to see a show and you're stuck for something to watch go see wicked honestly it's just magical. So I had a really, really lovely night. And thank you so, so much to SOLT for the tickets. Me and Jordan had a cracking night out. I had some chocolate buttons. Jordan had a pick and mix. And I had a great night out. And I would recommend it highly. So yeah, I'm gonna take all this makeup off now because I've had it on for quite a while. Um, I'm gonna get into my pajamas and then I'm gonna get into bed and hopefully go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of vlogging life in London. So yeah, bear with me, but I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Come in with me to see Wicked. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon in another video. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of the day and I'll speak to you again soon. Night guys.